Hey guys, what's up? Brandon here, and I've been having some uh, issues with my 96 uh, Mercury Outboard 175 EFI motor for, for a little while now. And just reading online, I think I've narrowed it down to a voltage regulator um, right here. Uh, so, and mine's looking kind of bad, so they're not that expensive. So I'm, I'm gonna try that and start there, but I'm not a mechanic. I'm just kind of doing what I can without having to take it to a mechanic. So if you guys know more, please help me out. Leave comments below. Uh, here in just a second, I'm gonna show you kind of what the boat's doing. So maybe you can help me narrow it down. So let's get to it. All right guys, before we get into replacing the part, I'm just gonna kind of show you a clip of what it's doing. Um, it's basically when I hit the throttle all the way down, it like, it's almost like it's stuck. And then all of a sudden it'll open, open up and it'll take off or it'll be going and it'll sound like I'm revving it like on the water. Like in this clip, you're going to see it's in and out. Like it's like, I'm like revving my boat on the water or something, but here's a clip. See what you think. Basically, what a voltage regulator can do, from what I've read, is I've had a lot of accessory issues as well, as well as some battery issues. Um, with the, the voltage regulator being bad, it can kind of affect your consistent voltage. I think it's one of three things. That voltage regulator, the stator that's already been replaced, or a trigger. So I'm going to start with the thing that's fairly, pretty much the easiest, go from there. So before we get started, I've disconnected the battery so there's no voltage to the motor. Yeah, now that I can actually see the whole thing, it is uh, pretty uh, gnarly looking right there. Now I can see the second one, and it definitely needs to replace too. You can see these wires right here are pretty fried. Um, you can see looking down there, it looks like there's quite a bit of burnt stuff going on there. So, kind of frustrating that it all gonna order the second one now but I will order it as soon as I can and get that one replaced I'm probably replace this one for now um, and maybe that'll help some of my problem this one comes with a basically a jumper wire stuck together since mine has two red wires I'll obviously take this off this part off and hook those two red wires to the existing red wires. All right guys, so I got it, got it all on there, it went on fairly easy, but I, as you could see, when I took this plate off, I could see that bottom one and it's in worse condition. Even some of the wires need probably re uh, changed. So as soon as that comes back in stock, I'm gonna order that and get that on my boat. I'm confident this is it, I hope so. But like I said, please let me know in the comments below if you think of something else and thanks for watching. 